We're going to be talking about duty gear, ergonomic duty gear, and uh, the presentation here is to show you if we can improve uh, the, uh, the aspect of being more comfortable with a duty gear. I'll just read you this as a presentation. Your duty gear is far and above the best law enforcement gear on the market today. I would give a kidney uh, to wear that instead of the same CRAP my agency has been handing out for several decades. We're talking about Atlanta. So a problem we have here today is the duty gear. You're wearing 12 to 15 pounds of gear concentrated in the front of the body and we've got three types of problems related to that. We've got bruises on the hips, left and right, and in the back, muscular, skeletic problems, and sciatic nerves that are part of the problems that you have. Our solution is to try to get away from that and improve productivity. So let's see how the problem is and where the problem starts and why understanding the problem will make our solution more attractive. The inner belt is very stiff, a very stiff environment. And we've got the outer belt that's very stiff, made of plastic. The combination of that is a very unflexible environment, very stiff environment. So that's part of the problem. Second part of the problem is the anchoring system, the way people anchor their stuff on the belt. You have what we call loops, a different type of loops and loops and loops. So what happens is you're going from left to right and you're bringing these loops and they're mobile. They just go left to right and they chew off all the Velcro. So what happens, I've got dead weight in front of my body bouncing all around. The only way I can put and hold that 15 pounds is to put pressure on that stiffness and that's where the digging starts and that's where all the problems are. Solution to this is very simple. We brought in what we call a flexible platform. So we're going from rigid to flexible. We're going from rigid rigidity to flexibility. The inner valve is made of leather, very flexible. I like this. The outer belt is made of your nylon belt seat belt, and we got a combination of two of those. And over and above the seat car belt, two inches, we bring in what we call either nylon finish, your basket weave finish, your plane finish, or your high gloss finish. The combination of both of that is a very flexible environment. Now, how come the industry never thought of bringing a flexible uh, platform to the industry it's because of the gun. The gun needs rigidity. You got two points of retention and you need to pull the gun out. So our challenge was, can I bring comfort to the market without damaging the tactic aspect of retrieving the gun? So we patented this technology. The technology, so you can see our belt, nothing moves. And behind the belt, we've got our system. So what we do, I'll give you an example. We're gonna take this particular module that holds the handcuff and it's very lightweight, but there's rigidity in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp the rigidity and transfer the rigidity of the back to the flexibility of the belt. And I'm going to put a clamshell, clamshell docking system. So what happens is I'm still flexible, but I lock the rigidity only in one area. So what I'm looking for now, I'm looking for flexibility and I've got it where I need it. And when I need some rigidity, I'm transferring it from the module to the belt. So I've got a flexible environment. So I need Velcro all the way. Velcro here, Velcro there, Velcro here. And then you got this guy. You want to keep this holster, but I don't want the plastic. So we have what we call a positioner. Pad, and we go on and on. And then we got this guy. This is your holster. You keep your holster, but we add a, what we call a positioner, padded positioner, and we make sure that this is moved with the clamshell docking system. Okay? So what, what's happening is we're locking the rigidity of that section to the belt. So what happens here is I've got a belt that doesn't move around. Okay, So what I'm doing is stabilizing this, and I'm going to wrap this around my body. And what happens here is I'll be able to transfer all the weight to the inner belt and the outer belt without anything moving. So I'm controlling the weight. The weight doesn't bounce around up and down. I am now in control of the weight and I know exactly where my gun is. I could do this and the belt still holds the uh, holster and the weight. So I'm concentrating the weight here. So there's no more digging and there's no more pressure on the nervous system. So I'm getting away from the muscular skeletal pain. So basically what we're doing is showing you how to the weight is not the issue here. If you carry your child at the end of your arms, it's five pounds. 
is heavy and you bring it towards you, still five pounds, but you can carry the weight. So the weight is not the issue, it's how you carry the weight. So rigidity is the problem and the solution is flexibility and improving the tactics by stabilizing every module there. So we're bringing muscle memory and improving that. I'm going to finish off by, we call this a unified force continuum platform. You got the canine officer with his dog, he's making a platform, he controls the dog, he's got confidence. Guy working with his horse got confidence in his horse. The guy working with his uh, police car has got confidence. The guy working with his motorcycle has got confidence. But when a police officer comes out with his patrol gear, it's loosey goosey. There's a party going on and everything. So you could see coming out of the car and they have to look and check and all that. So basically, uh, days away from work, pills, uh, seeing the chiropractor, uh, all the costs related to a poor design duty belt. And all this with time takes its toll. So we want to keep our people for 25 years. We got to start working on a platform that will get away from the problems related to a poor platform. So this is my presentation and hopefully you can come and see us. Thank you for your time on this.